you had breakfast yet? Yeah, you ate something earlier. I did too. God, I ate I'm, it so quick. I forgot I even had breakfast. I'm looking at all these go to meals to that people are writing on, and it's just, I'm getting very hungry. Yeah, uh, my, my son was sick the last two days, and I couldn't get him to eat anything. And um, so I went up into the deep uh, reaches of the pantry, and I know I have some emergency ramen up there. And I don't, does ramen go bad? No. Uh, I, no. I mean, it'll go stale if the package gets open, but, but if the package is airtight, then yeah, you're fine. Okay. And it was. It I mean, was, I'm sure over off. time, if it was five years old, it would, you know, air would get in and it would been get stale. It's been a long time since I've eaten ramen. And because he's only 11 months old, it's very um, easy for him not to put away a whole package of ramen. Although I think he may have if I would have let him because he was way into it, like super into it. But then I started looking at it and I was looking at it like, oh, that looks pretty good. I'm not feeling too great myself either last couple of days. So um, I went ahead and dug into the ramen. And man, I, I remember eating that. I, I know why I haven't eaten it for a long time is because all through college, I was pretty poor and I would eat that a lot. I would eat it probably, I don't know, seven times a week, at least yeah, once a day. When you're at the I grocery have, store. I would have that as a meal. And you, could, you can grab 20 of them and you're just like, wow, that's awesome. That's like uh, $10. For $3, yeah. And then, and then you try to spruce up. How would you spruce up ramen? I never did. I would just oh, I would add more. I would buy the chicken uh, bouillon cubes, and I would throw that in there because I wanted it extra Ooh, salty gosh. and chickeny. They give you too much as it is. I would. Only, I only use half a pack. Oh really? No, I'm a salt guy, so oh, I'm gosh. just like throw an extra are. cube in there. Oh, I never. How would you dress? How do you dress up ramen? Oh, so I what did, you do is you cook it, and I, I cook it without the without the seasoning packet altogether. Or maybe if you want a little bit of flavor, put a little bit of the seasoning packet in there. But what I'll do is I'll I'll create a stir fry. Of the ramen, gotcha. so so I'll cook the ramen, drain it out, and uh, I'll cook it with the seasoning packet in there, and uh, drain it out. The Oriental, um, that's the blue a one, really good one for yeah, the I stir fry. That, yeah. That's a really good one for the stir fry. And then I will throw anyways. a little uh, oil in a pan, heat up that oil, and then fry up the ramen. I'll crack an egg in there, maybe put some peppers, and if you have it on hand, it's not cheap, and it's not cheap people food, but. If you have it on hand, spam, little spam, little uh, spam. peppers, and a little, and then and then you put a little <laughs> Yoshida's on it, and that is like po people, white people. Spam tastes like Chinese sausage food. to me, though. I don't know. It's uh, you know what spam is. I don't know what spam is. It's, it's, I don't want it. Do I want to know what it is? It's not bad. It's probably the guts. It's pork. It's pork, and it's pork. And it's whatever part of pork that they want to put into it, but then it's also <laughs> it's the pork they can't uh, do anything it's else. It's mixed with, it. with um, potato starch. Okay. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, that's what. They, look at it. Look at the ingredients next time. <laughs> Why are you grinning? Like, yeah, because it's, it's pretty awesome. damn good. I love spam. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have so many good ones here. Um, yeah, we're asking you was the uh, what's your go to meal when you're broke? Cup of noodle was mine because it was just add water. Be, with with a ramen packet, you still got to put it in a thing. You got to boil it. You can just do instant hot water. And Actually, I had one of those little I, coffee I got, machines. I got, a, I got a ramen hack for you. I know you're a big fan of the Keurig. Just run. Well, yeah, eight ounces is the perfect amount of hot water into your bowl. Put a, a plate over the bowl, let it sit for four minutes, five minutes, and it will cook the ramen inside. The heat of the that would get trapped with the plate over the bowl makes the perfect bowl of ramen. Ten if you like a little bit of soup. Ten ounces if you like a little bit of soup. Eight ounces if you don't like too much soup and you right. just like the noodles. I like the broth. I'd go ten for sure. Yeah, you go ten, ten or twelve. But and when we moved here, especially if you're throwing an extra bouillon cube in, I would probably go 14. The last time I was single and on my own as a bachelor, even though I was still with, you know, dating where my wife and I were engaged, but we were living apart. I uh, lived by myself here for six months in an apartment. And I all I lived on was cup of noodle, hot dogs, microwave popcorn and peanut butter. And microwave jelly. popcorn's a good one. Yeah. Oh, no, it would be great. And Pepsi or Coke. And then... Um, and then if I wanted to dress it up and I wanted to go big one night, a little Denison's chili on top of my my hot dog. And it was the cheap ass buns. It was the cheap oh, yeah. bar hot dogs. Yeah. Just you bar know. S. I don't recommend this diet. S. I know because I buy them. Because I gained thirty pounds in six months. Whoa. Yeah. That's like super size me action. Yeah, it was like 20, I think yeah, thirty pounds. Morgan Spurlock on a dime right there. 
Yeah, but it was good. Uh, you can chime in uh, at Jeff and Jeremy Facebook, Twitter. Uh, the uh, the topic is going there, and this- I'm I'm, le- I'm learning one uh, that's really good because I have to cook simple for my son, and this is the most amazing. And, and I learned it from all these macaroni and cheese chefs that come out or come in around macaroni and cheese festival time, and that is the simplest thing in the world is you put a little bit of butter in with noodles after you cook the noodles. You get the small shells, the the small shell noodles. You put a little butter in there. And then you just sprinkle, you know, that Parmesan cheese, the yeah. craft that comes in the green. Yeah. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it quite a bit and swirl it around with the butter. It's almost better than macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I don't like, where was this when I was in college? No I, salt, no pepper. I had to have two kids to figure this out. Just, just you noodles. Can do, you and... can do salt and pepper if you want. Right. But I, I, I'm telling you that this, this is the way to go because that cheese melts up amazing. Because it's in like powder form. It's like essentially macaroni and cheese, but adding a little bit of butter. What was your question? Having really, it be okay. Parmesan. Really put Spam in top ramen? Um, yeah, but you, you make a stir fry out of the top ramen. So it's not the oh, soup. Okay. So you I actually. You're just throwing in some raw Spam. No, no, no. And I would actually cook <laughs> up the Spam ahead of time. So as I'm cooking okay. the ramen, as I'm cooking the ramen on one, on one pot, I would actually be frying the Spam because. Bam, to be good, needs to be crunchy. It has to be fried. It needs, yeah. to, be, I mean, it needs to be crunchy. I mean, they put that potato starch in there for a reason. It's like, it, it's basically a ham <laughs> potato chip is what Spam is. A big ham yeah. potato chip. But you got to slice it yeah. up thin and, and fry it up good. And then you you, mm. you chop it up and then you throw it in the ramen. I had Spam in a long time. Egg, Spam, some uh, green peppers, maybe some red peppers. If you've got the trio of peppers in the freezer like I do, then you throw that in there, and then you put. You're a like the oil. dollar store chef. You I know am, that. I am the dollar store. <laughs> I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna make an entire stir fry for under a dollar. Wait till I get that oven cleaner on my blinds today. I'm Thanks gonna, uh, for the call. The dollar store is like they say. Oh, they're like, oh, Jeff has spent some time on the internet today. He's gonna stop by. Hi, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, uh, have you tried throwing an egg in there? Yes. I was just talking about that, actually. Uh, the, the, if you throw an uh, egg in that ramen, it's it it, it it spruces it up immensely. My kids eat top ramen dry or cooked, but you throw an egg in there and it uh, kicks it up. We used to work with a guy that Wait, was, eat it raw, like no, don't boil yeah, it. Yeah, Goldfinger, yeah. Goldfinger used to oh, do yeah. this. So there's oh, this I DJ. Have some gas, but. Give some gas, thanks. Yeah, it does. Robin gives does. everybody gas. Appreciate though. the call. Robin gives everybody gas. No, this guy we used to work with. He was a spin DJ, and he was immensely lazy. Like, like he would hate to cook food. Remember all the grills he would have just to carry his crates around. Yeah, and back when he had to have records. Yeah, and and he would he would lazy. also like to have girls around uh, because he loved women, and women love DJs for whatever reason. But also. Uh, I'm talking about club DJs, not not like what we do. And he he would not cook anything. And he said he told me once that he asked me if I wanted some ramen, and I'm like, "Will you cook it up?" He's like, "No, no, you just eat like popcorn. You sprinkle the you sprinkle the seasoning on it, and it tastes oh, just like popcorn." Gross. I'm like, "That don't taste like popcorn, bro." Like you would have to be just some really good weed. That I'd have to have really like good popcorn, munchies bro. to eat that. It's like what? It, all you need is hot water to make that taste the way it's supposed to taste. And he'd be like, "No, I don't got time for that." What was the worst thing your mom ever made you on a regular basis when you were a kid? Since I know you were single, had a you know single parent type situation. Uh, food in general. My mom was a horrible cook. <laughs> she was she was really bad. My cook. mom would make us hamburger helper all the time. She called it goulash. I hate hate hamburger helper. Somebody wrote that down as their go to. You know uh, when you're bumming it uh, meal. My mom would never make anything. It was always fast food. It was always let's go out and get something to eat. That's that's awesome. Uh, no, it's not. It's not awesome. Well, I mean, now that we're older, we know it as a kid. But it also ruins you on fast food. You're like, ah, no. McDonald's again? Really? I yeah. don't know. I got sick of McDonald's. That's how like, much we ate. We I mean, to, you have to eat a lot. We used to, to go to McDonald's breakfast every Saturday before we dropped my mom off at her job that she worked on Saturday. And I still love McDonald's breakfast. Yeah, but you're, I'm talking about nightly. On Peace. This. Okay, I was like living Mer- Morgan Spurlock's dream before Morgan Spurlock See, You're was. lucky because you didn't have to eat frozen peas. Because frozen peas are disgusting. They're mush. Like, it, they hold just enough consistency that by the time you put them in your mouth, it, they just melt. And it's just disgusting. They melt in your mouth. There's nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> oh, God. Here, somebody wrote beef stroganoff. That's the same thing as hamburger helper, isn't it? It's, I mean, the same idea. Corned beef and hash. Somebody's right. Liver. 
I never had to eat liver and onions, but I know that was the thing. That and Brussels sprouts, my mom never, probably because she hated it. But, yeah, see, you never had to have liver and onions. Ham, hock, and beans. Oh, is right. Something that Ham, hock, and navy bean soup, yes, right? Yes. Disgusting. <laughs> grandma, my grandma Doyle did that all the time, and I just, I had to eat it. I remember my, my mom. My dad would my mom make me that. eat it. Oh. And, and then I had a roommate in college. I came home one day, and I was like... <laughs> I was like, what the hell oh. are you doing, Butch? Ham hocks are the worst. And, and he's like, oh, let's ham hock and, and Oh, beans. I remember and your I, roommate, I, Butch. I, I, I mean, I, I, it brought up the memories of my youth where I had a gag reflex and I had to leave the house. I was like, dude, I can't hang out in here anymore. Oh. So they were like white beans and they were big white kidney beans. Terrible. And it, that, the fat from the ham hock would kind of make it a gravy he type. Said, he, oh. said, he said it was a comfort food. Oh. <laughs> If it's comforting to vomit profusely, then yes, I agree with you. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.